Hello students, welcome to Legacy IS Academy. In today's video, we are going to discuss about a recent GI tag, that is geographical indication tag, which has been given for Majuli masks. Majuli is a region of Assam, so Majuli mask of Assam. So we'll try to briefly discuss what is the history of this Majuli mask and what is the cultural significance for which GI tag has been given. So let us try to understand. Now, first of all, if you look at the context in which we are discussing this topic. Topic Recently, traditional Majuli masks in Assam were given indication that is geographical indication tag. Majuli manuscript pending apart from the mask also got the GI label. Now, Majuli basically first of all to talk about is also a very very important place because it is the largest riverine island in the world and the seat of Assam's neo Vaishnavite tradition that has been home to the art of mask making since the 16th century. Today, many of its traditional practices are working, practitioners are basically working to take the art out of their traditional place in the satras, sataras, as we call it, or monasteries, as you can call it in English, and give them a new contemporary life to make it more popular and make it easy for the people who are deriving their livelihood from the mask making. And in this context, if you first of all look at the geographical location of this particular area, Majuli, as we have discussed, is the largest river in island. And this is the location. As you can see from here, we have two rivers. One river is the longest Brahmaputra river, as you can see from here. And the other river is what we can call as the Suvan, Suvansiri river. That is a tributary of Brahmaputra. So sandwiched between Suvansiri river and Brahmaputra river lies a riverine island of Majuli, which is also has been declared as a district of Assam. Now, what is GI tag? First of all, we have to understand this. So if you look at the definition that is given in the official website, we see that a GI tag is a sign that is used on a products that have a specific geographical origin. And also it possesses qualities or reputation that are due to that origin. In one, in other way, what we can say that the products which are or which have received geographical indication tag, their uniqueness is derived from the fact that they have originated from a particular geographical areas. And in order to function as a GI, a sign must identify a product as originating in a given place only. GI are typically used for several products, but largely we see the agricultural products, foodstuffs, wine and spirit drinks, handicrafts and industrial products are something that receive most of the GI tag. Now, obviously, this is not the first time GI tag has been given to a product of India. There has been several other products including the state of Assam as well, where GI tag has been given. For example, we talk about the Assam itself before the Majuli mask, Muga silk that actually originate or that actually is uh, produced in Assam has also received the GI tag. If we talk about the GI tag at the All India level, Darjeeling tea from the West Bengal was the first product to receive GI tag in India. And similarly, Banarsi Sari from Uttar Pradesh, Blue Pottery from Rajasthan, you have Urisa Ikat, that is also a type of embroidered uh, type of clothes. Then we have Bastar Dhoka, Dhokra. So a lot of GI tag, GI tags has been given to the products originating from different, different parts of India. Now, let us focus our attention back to the mask, which has recently received the GI tag. So what are these masks basically? Now we have discussed in the beginning that the mask originated from Ojali, which is a seat of the new West and White tradition of Assam. So traditionally, the mask was used in the 16th century to depict the characters in Bhavanas. Now Bhavanas are basically what you can say is a Nat or Natak that is also can be referred as theatrical performances with a devotional message. And in this context, in the 15th century, 16th century reformer Bhakti Saints called as Srimanth Sankarade was one who has introduced the idea of Bhavanas as well as the mask in the Bhavanas. So mask can then depict as you know that in theatrical performance of Bhavana, a lot of gods, goddesses, demigods, demons, animals and birds are present. So mask can depict any of these entities. Not only that, it also depict major heroes and the villains such as Ravan, Garud, Narsimha, Hanuman, Varah, Surpanakha. These are the major entities that feature among the mask. Now, the mask itself can be classified into two categories. The first kind of mask, which is called as Mukmukha, which basically is used to cover the entire face of the performer. And this is around, uh, this mask takes around five days to make by the traditional craft wearers. Second kind of mask is, mask is something that is called as Chaumukha. And this cover the entire head as well as body of the performers. And since obviously it is a very big mask, it takes somewhere about 1.5 months to make it. And these masks are made up of materials such as bamboo, 
clay, dung, cloth, cotton, wood, as well as other materials available in the riverine surroundings of the Majuli Ma uh, of the Majuli Island, where the makers are reside. To give you an idea about how this mask looks, I have included the picture so you can see from here. These masks, as you see in the upper part, is something that is, that is example of Chomukha. As you can see, this mask covers not only the face but the entire body of the performer. And on the lower side, you can see the Mukmukha mask, which basically is just a face mask. As you can see from here, Lord Hanuman, then we have Garud and other entities as well. So let us try to understand about the bhavanas or nataks that we are discussing about or the art forms in the monasteries of Assam. Now the monasteries are locally referred as Sataras and monastic institutions, these Sataras are basically monastic institutions that were established by 15th, 16th century reformer Srimant Sankardev and his disciple as a center of religious, social and cultural reform. Now, centers of traditional performing arts such as Borgi, which is a type of Assamese folk song, Chatriya, that is a dance, as well as Bhavana, which is a theatre, is very popular method of carrying out these kind of reforms. As these kind of reforms, why these kind of uh, methods were implemented? Because we know that in the 15th, 16th century AD, when we talk about the modern literacy or kind of literacy that we have today did not exist. So to convey any kind of message to a large section of society, we require some very easy methods or uh, what we can say something, the message that can be captured easily by the people and these methods were best suitable at that particular point of time. Now, Majuli has overall 22 satras, 22 monastic institutions and the patent application states that the mask making tradition is by and large concentrated in four of them. And what are these four satras where Majuli mask is concentrated? So, these are Samaguri Satra, Natun Samaguri Satra, Bihimpur Satra and Alangi Narsimha Satra. Now, we have discussed in the beginning of the video that apart from the Majuli mask, the Majuli manuscript painting has also received the GI tag. So, let us slightly discuss about these as well. Now, as clear from the name itself, the painting is a type of, uh, manuscript painting is a type of painting or form font painting that also originated in the 16th century AD done on the Sanchi Pat or the manuscript that is made up of the bark of the Sanchi tree which is also scientifically called as Agar Agar tree or Agar tree using homemade ink. And the earliest example of an illustrated manuscript is said to be a rendering of the Adya Dasam of the Bhagavat Puran in Assamese by Srimant Sankar Dev himself. Now this art was something that was patronized by the home kings by themselves because as we know that before Assam became or became part of the Union of India or before when it became part of the British Indian territory, it was ruled by the home kings and a home kings were the patron of Sriman Sankar Dev as well as all these folk paintings and folk dances that we are seeing today. It continues to be practiced in every satra in Majuli. That is what makes this particular manuscript painting unique in the sense. So overall what we can say in the conclusion that while the masks were traditionally made only for the purpose of bhavanas or the theatrical performances, over the past couple of decades, what we are seeing that one of the satras, one of the 22 satras of the sum, specifically the Samaguri Satra, has been trying to promote mask making as an art form in its own right. So that is all about this particular video. I hope you understood about the recent news of Majuli mask getting a geographical indication tag, what the GI tag means and what is the cultural relevance of the Majuli mask. That is all for this particular video. Thank you very much.